Hello everybody and welcome to my new series of VBA tutorials. Uh, I know a lot of you have been waiting a long time for me to, to put some new VBA ones. Uh, I wanted to go back and, and do normal Excel and uh, the Microsoft Access videos first. Um, partly because a lot of what I'm going to do in these tutorials is going to link into both of those sets. So, um, But if you if you haven't watched those tutorials but you want to watch these first that's fine, don't worry. Um, I'll let you know when you need to, to switch across and watch the Microsoft Access one, that won't be until much later. Uh, I've planned out around about 100 uh, videos for this tutorials, um, so they're ranging from uh, the beginning, so the very basics, um, that I've already done tutorials on in 2003, but uh, I wanted to ch uh, show you guys how to do them in 2010 as well, um, just because it's a more recent version. Uh, and um, going on to some quite advanced uh, techniques with, with SQL and uh, building your own objects and, and user forms and active X controls. Um, so we're going to cover a lot, so let's get started. Uh, the very first thing you need to know is just simply where are you writing a VBA? Um, or probably more importantly first of all is, is what is VBA? For those that you've uh, not, not experienced it before, uh, VBA um, or uh, visual base basic um, is uh, a code uh, written by Microsoft uh, and it sits behind uh, most of your, your Microsoft Office programs um, and it just allows you to anything you can you can see and do on the front here you can actually also also do with code um, and not only that but you can then save that code for later uh, and use it over and over and over again uh, so it's very useful um, in order to start writing, uh, the first command you need to know is Alt and F11. So if we press this now, so Alt and F11, uh, and you'll notice that this brings up a uh, a new screen, which is the Visual Basic Editor. So this is where you're going to write all of your code. Um, there's a few windows here that you don't need to worry about all of them yet. Um, for starters, just uh, right click. Uh, on your um, on your uh, pro your the book that you've got open, um, so I'm currently in book one, and I'm just going to go to insert, and then go to module, uh, and this opens up a a new set of code here underneath your book. Um, so this module is where you're going to write all of your code. Um, if you haven't got this bit over here, the Project Explorer, then just go to View. Uh, and just click on Project Explorer or just press Ctrl and R and then this will come up. Uh, if you've got multiple workbooks open, um, let's show you this now. So just go to File and New and Workbook. Uh, so now we've got two books open, so you'll see that they come up under different projects um, and your module sits in just the one that we've done already. So let's go back into our module one. Um, and then in here, we're going to start writing our code. Uh, so for this tutorial, uh, I'm just going to show you what you need to type in order to, to get running. It's not so much about what we're, we're coding, it's just where you write it and how to run it. Um, so the first thing you need to write is sub. And that stands for a uh, sub procedure. Uh, and this just tells us that we're we're writing a new uh, new set of code. Um, so we then have to name our code. So I'm just going to call it Matt, uh, Matty, and then I'm going to put some parentheses um, and just press enter. So don't worry about the parentheses yet. Just remember that you you should put them there. Um, you'll notice that when I pressed enter, it automatically wrote n sub at the end. Um, and I've put some space down here um, and then in between these two spaces this is where you're going to write your code uh, so this is just letting it know this is the start this is what I'm going to call it and then this is the end down here and you have to have that for every one set bit of your code um, then we're just going to do one line of code so we're just going to write message box open bracket and then in speech marks we're just going to write hello world and that's it so 
Uh, hopefully you're you're writing along in um, Excel with me, and make sure you've written this exactly as it is, uh, and uh, you, then you're good to go. So now we can run this. So we're going to go back into Excel now. So you can either do that by pressing Alt F11, um, and then Alt F11 to go back in back and forth. Um, or you can just minimize the editor and then we'll go back into here. I'm in book 2 at the moment, I don't want to be in book 2, let's just close that one off. So the next command that, that I'm going to teach you is just Alt F8. So when you're in the uh, the normal screen uh, in Excel, in a sheet, just press Alt and F8. And then this uh, dialog box here is going to come up. And then you'll notice now that in here there is my sub procedure showing or macro uh, as they're also called and so matty and then I'm going to click run on this and then you notice that a box has popped up uh, saying hello world uh, if you've been watching along uh, and written the same thing then you should do the same um, so that's it for our first tutorial. Uh, if you've been watching along, congratulations on creating your first macro. Hopefully there'll be there are many, 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 many more. Uh, if you if you want to uh, check out all of my videos, then click subscribe uh, somewhere in the top left. Um, and just make sure as you're watching along all these videos, you've got them in the highest quality they can be, uh, which is down around down here. I'll put little put little tabs on for you so you know where they are. Um, so that's it, thanks for listening and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.